Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here. Well, no more games and no more messing around. Countries are banding together to dump the United States dollar, which could and will have serious repercussions on our economy. Now, I know that Russia has talked about it in the past. There's even been rumors that they're exchanging it for gold, probably at some level, but uh, not completely. And also China has expressed their concern over this and actually has dumped some of the US dollar. They've even been threatened to dump more. And I could imagine with Trump's latest tariffs on Chinese uh, steel exports, we could get a little more pushback from China and more threats to dump the United States dollar something that they've talked about for quite a while. Well, now Iran has jumped in on the action. Check out this report from RT.com and it's titled, Iran bans use of the United States dollar in trade, officially banned. Now the report details that Tehran has announced and per announced that purchase orders by merchants that are based on US currency would no longer be allowed to go through the import procedures. According to local media, the policy is in line with an official request by the Central Bank of Iran and is specifically meant to address fluctuations in market rates of the US dollar. Now a little further in the report, it also details a quote love affair with Putin and Iran, uh, if you will. It states this, while meeting with the Russian president Vladimir Putin in November, Iranian Supreme Leader Ali said that the best way to beat the United States sanctions against the two countries was to join efforts to dump the American currency in bilateral trade. That is huge. He told President Putin that by using methods such as eliminating the US dollar and replacing it with national currencies and transactions between two or more parties, the sides could quote, isolate, isolate the Americans. Wow, that's huge. So here we have Iran pushing Russia to do likewise, to basically bust the US economy, something that is really on a teetering uh, slope. It's, it's, it's not a matter of uh, if it is going to happen, but when, because we know that these trillions of dollars of debt that, that we're in is, is just a bubble waiting to pop. Now with Trump in there, uh, we've had a lot of headway and a lot of good things happening on the economy, but you must keep in mind that with Trump in office, and like I said, when he took office over a year ago, uh, I specifically stated that they want to crash the economy under Trump. This is something, it may or may not happen in the end, but this is absolutely something they've been attempting to do. And now now it seems they're making headway and other countries are jumping in on the bandwagon there. Let me show you this report on China. This was earlier this year, uh, but it's on Sputnik News. And it's headlined, will China wreck the US treasuries market and the United States dollar? Uh, Beijing may be considering dumping the US bond portfolio in reply to Trump's trade threats. But can it really hurt the U.S. Treasury market and crash the U.S. dollars? Uh, again, keep in mind, uh, we've got those tariffs against steel uh, on the table right now and being discussed. So this could have some repercussions. And, and Russia and China and Iran are not the only ones. We know that Venezuela has also, also talked about doing it as well. Uh, moving on a little bit, uh, there is also store closures in America to add a little flame to the burning fire that's already here with these countries talking about dumping the US dollar. Well, we do have some job losses here in America. I'm going to throw this up. Uh, you can look these up in a link below that I have, but I, I kind of monitor how many jobs are lost, how many layoffs we have around the country. But just March 1st, there was an announcement that Best Buy will be closing over 250 stores. Uh, so there is still some job Job losses taking place here in America and some serious repercussions on our economy. But that's not all. Also, check out this report um, that details the Federal Reserve once again increasing interest rate or continuing to uh, talk about increasing those. But this report can be found on NewYorkTimes.com and it was put out uh, February 21st and it's headlined Feds officials say economy is ready for higher rates, thus meaning they're going to raise rates. Not to mention the craziness that we've had on the stock market, on the Dow, and all of that. Check out this report from the dailyherald.com uh, and it was put out March 1st, but the Dow dropped 420 points on the news of Trump's steel tariffs. So just a simple announcement, we have the Dow dropping 420 points. It dropped 660 
six points not that long ago, kind of a scary number. Um, Mark of the Beast style, if you want to label it as such, that's what it would be considered. But the Dow has just been up and down. Our stock markets have been going crazy uh, lately a lot. And these are troubling signs when we're looking ahead, when we're looking into the economy. So we have to keep our eyes open. But here's the thing. The ultimate goal is that they want to collapse the economy. They want an economic crisis and they want to blame it on President Trump, who, uh, who lately has been giving me some red hair, white hairs, if you will, red, white hairs on the whole gun control banter that he's been spilling lately. Now, I haven't decided yet, and this is just a side note, uh, but I haven't decided yet if that banter is... Um, in order to appease the Democrats to get them to put something way over the top in. So then we're left with nothing as an end result. Uh, you know, in, in regards to what happened in Florida, he's over exaggerating on the issue in order to have them put something more dramatic on the table that he knows the Republican side uh, will deny. And that's kind of playing the game. Or is he really saying those things and mean it? Which I sure the hell hope it's not that one because I will stand against it thick and thin and stand with the NRA uh, with our gun rights because that is our second amendment right. But that's a side issue. I don't want a tangent. Uh, there are so many things happening with the economy that we need to be aware of. Now that said, there really is something major going on and my hairs are absolutely standing on end. With all this talk on the economy, with all the buildup of countries cashing out, with uh, the Federal Reserve increasing rates, with the Dow going up and down, I can't help but also link that to the fact uh, that YouTube and Google and Facebook have been on an uber tangent or just a crazy kick to eliminate and silence uh, YouTubers and start putting uh, certain rules and regulations and strikes on channels, which apparently they've done an accident to some level. Uh, but there's been up to tax on Infowars specifically, which whether or not you agree with what they're doing over there, the, uh, the fact is it is an attack on our rights, on our freedom of speech, on what is going uh, on there. And and so many attacks, uh, when I see attacks going on patriots, attacks on people who are standing on the right side of things, and I see them up to the level that they are, and they're really pushing bad uh, on him, and I see him pushing on my channel, on multiple other channels, on my friends' channels who have gotten strikes and taken off, uh, and this is all this corroded, uh, it's not a coincidence, but this effort all at once to silence opposition, to crash or, or put you know, make the economy in turmoil. And let me just preface this. I'm not saying the economy is going to crash. Uh, I don't know when it will. Um, nobody knows and can put a date. I can just say these are the things that are happening. Pay attention uh, and, and look and spread the information. And I know you guys pay attention hardcore, but we got to wake up the sleeping half to pay attention. So with that, um, all these things happen at once tells me that something big is coming. Something big is about to happen. I don't know what that is. Uh, could it be something with President Trump? Could it be some kind of false flag event? Could it be some kind of economic uh, downfall? Could it be some kind of attack? I just don't know. I just feel that with the amount of effort that they're pushing to attack dissidents, to attack their opponents, then we need to have a heads up for anything. Anyhow, please don't forget to check out my partner at Noble Gold Investments. Um, you you guys can see here I own gold and silver myself that is why uh, because of the instabilities in the economy because of what's going on you really need to have something a little more valuable like gold and silver now there's links below noblegoldinvestments.com uh, but click the links below there's also Bitcoin that you can get involved in gold silver precious metals all these things um, are obviously part of it you can see I also have you know silver here as well I love these things uh, but so many things are underway. You just need to be ready for anything and make sure you have your assets spread out in other areas. Put some in Bitcoin, put some in gold, silver, precious metals, spread them out. So if something does happen to the US dollar and it's guaranteed sometime in our future, don't know when, but it is guaranteed sometime in our future, then you need to have your assets elsewhere. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I love all of you guys. You are amazing. Please share this far, far and wide and subscribe to the channel. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.